So I'm gonna take y'all back in time. Remember back in the day, either you or your mom or your grandma. So the grind don't stop, don't stop, we're calling it Sicily. Uh, uh, ATC on top, we're calling it Sicily. Uh, uh. What's up ATC gang? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a Valentine's Day clean and decorate with me. I'm going to go ahead and do my coffee bar. So this is a collab hosted by I'm Merely Melissa and Christie's Farmhouse. So make sure you check the link down in the description box so you can see the playlist and get some good old motivation and inspiration to decorate for the upcoming Valentine's Day holiday. These are just some of the pieces that I'll be using. So if you want to see how my coffee bar turns out, keep watching. Y'all, don't tell nobody that I still have Christmas cups up. Those deer cups from Home Goods were so beautiful. But I have my fall sign up here, my Valentine's Day sign. I'm putting away my Christmas cups. This collab was right on time so I can get my coffee bar in order. So I like to wrap up all of my glasses, you know, for the previous holiday so I could put it in the bin. So it'll be nice and neat, you know, for the next year, for the next holiday. So now that I have all of the glasses removed, I'm just going to remove all of the food and take everything off of this mirror table so I can give it a good wipe down. Comment down below if you've already decorated for Valentine's Day. And if you have, if you are a content creator, I would love for you to leave it in the comments so that I can come support you. All right, y'all. Look at all these fingerprints. My baby touches the mirror all day long. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my walls, wipe down this little shelf, and try to get it as clean as possible. So one of my uh, vows to myself in the new year was to take better care of myself and that includes my hair. So I covered it so that the dust that flies won't get into my scalp. But if you are new here, I thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel. I'm a disabled mother of two young boys by way of sickle cell anemia. That's an inherited red blood disorder and sometimes I'm in the hospital monthly for a, a week at a time just depending on how much pain I'm in so I felt it was important to showcase both sides of what it's like to be disabled and I just want to encourage you that if I can make it through life with everything that I have going on you can do it too and we can do it together I would love for you to subscribe and join me on my journey I like to post decoration videos hauls sometimes we do vlogs and recipes so if you're interested come on over we'd love to have you so as y'all can see i'm just getting the floors nice and clean so that we can go ahead and mop and move on to the next step did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know a single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time So I was halfway through my cleaning process and I had to change my gloves because I got moisture on my hands. You know how sometimes if you're cleaning, a little bit of water will get in the gloves. And with sickle cell, if I remain like with wet from rain or any type of liquid, it causes um, pain in my hands and it can flow to other parts of the body. So I just have to stay on top of things like that. So I went ahead and ch changed my gloves and we can get back to cleaning. Comment down below, do you clean your house with gloves? I feel like it's something we should do because of all of the chemicals, but we're so caught up with just trying to get it done that we don't necessarily take the time to wear gloves. But I'm trying to, like I said before, get better with how I take care of myself.
Okay, so now that we got the area nice and clean, I wiped down the walls, uh, mopped the floors, the baseboards. We just wiped down um, my mirrored coffee table. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the decor on. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Like when I clean, I like to go from top to bottom. My friend just popped by with some wing stop, so y'all know I'm excited. So anyway, let's start with the top shelf. Y'all know I shop a lot because I can look at a tag and tell you what store is from. So from this tag, comment down below if you know what store this is from. So um, this is from Target Dollar Spot about two years ago. My son loves these little gnomes. So now we have like gnomes for Christmas and Valentine's Day. So when I saw this, it gave me permission to get this super cute so we are going to grab some scissors pop his tag off and i think i'm gonna sit him over here on the left side of the shelf so this is from the brand love and cupcakes it was 7.99 at marshall's so let's pop him or her on the shelf cut her little tag off what should we name her, y'all? I'm thinking Rebecca. But maybe I'm thinking Rebecca because I just finished watching This Is It. Comment down below if you watch that show. Y'all, I'm kind of mad it ended. Like, they could have went through some more things, but I love that show. I literally cried every episode. That When I tell you they need to get all of the Oscars, all of the Grammys, that show was definitely great. Wait, you know what I just thought about? That can't be Rebecca. Y'all didn't even correct me. Y'all just got me out here wrong in the streets. So this can't be Rebecca because she has a beard. So this has to be, what was Rebecca's husband name? What's his name, Jack? Okay, so y'all know it was Jack and it was Miguel, but we gonna go with Jack. So yeah, that's Jack. So next to Jack, we're gonna go ahead and put my Starbucks cup. If you didn't know, I like pink. Okay, now let's go and put something to cover this. Um, I always say millennial, but I guess I'm a, uh, I'm a millennial. Generation X would probably look at my wall and wonder, what is this? Um, I know what it's called, but it's not coming to my mind. So remember back in the day when you had, oh, it's in a, it's in a perfect spot. Okay, so I'm gonna take y'all back in time. Remember back in the day, Either you or your mom, how old you are, but you know, back in our day, we had a super long white cord. It was really twisty. I'm going to pop a picture on the screen. I think it's called a phone jack. Okay, so we obviously have to cover this hideous phone jack. So option one, I feel like I have to show my friend because she's here. So option one, it's like a little countdown to tell you the days. I think this one is cute because my kids can get involved. And then option two. A little pink heart. I love the texture on this. Oh, princess, pay attention. Option two. Option three. There will be a quiz after. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So option three, um, a little pink, not a pink, but y'all know we're going to use a pink marker on it. But uh, a heart shaped, what is this called? chalkboard so we're gonna put a little hole in the wall don't worry we can always patch it if you're a renter don't feel like you know you're causing permanent damage because you're not I was thinking and I was talking to my business partner and she was saying that I should start doing like coffee cups as merch. So let me know what y'all think about that. Maybe we'll do a vlog and come up with some cute designs together.
hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did give it a big thumbs up because that helps to circulate my channel i want you to know that it means everything to me that you stop to watch my content because you could have been anywhere and guess what if i can do it you can do it be blessed